entertainmentbuddha.com Hey now fans of the space, Matt Haywood here to review Ad Astra, or what I like to call Gravy Stellar Runner aka a pretty solid hybrid of other excellent sci-fi films. Yes, Ad Astra definitely mixes in elements of films like Gravity, Interstellar, and Blade Runner 2049, but it manages to stand out on its own. Most notably for its unique near-future vision of humanity's expansion into space and its amazing galactic visuals. Oh, and Brad Pitt is a freaking champ in the film too. It's easily his best performance in quite some time, and quite frankly, he probably should be considered for some Hollywood BS awards when that season comes around. He really sells the emotional aspect of Ad Astra, which deals with the rocky relationship career-driven fathers can have with their sons. He just fulfills the action aspect and emotional aspect of his character Rory McBride perfectly, so it was great to see Pitt knock this role out. While Ad Astra has some amazing space visuals and more than a few harrowing action sequences, not to mention the first ever zero-g road rage incident captured on film, it somehow doesn't manage to make you feel as tense as the action playing out on screen should. Maybe it's because we've seen similar moments in Gravity, but I never once had my butthole pucker up while watching Roy do the seemingly impossible to survive yet another deep space travel disaster. Ad Astra is definitely worth a trip to the movies though, especially for its visuals and concepts. It may not be as nerve wracking as it should, but it's a damn fine film and worthy of an 8 out of 10 review score. Thanks for watching. I'm Matt Haywood signing off for Entertainment Buddha, where we make you a better geek, one post at a time. EntertainmentBuddha.com